first of all, a future network is not a specific network, it's more a generic concept for uh, new network structures that offer services, capabilities and functions that are not delivered so or provided so far by existing uh, technologies. And um, in uh, this sense, um, this can be a total new network structure. It can be also a collection uh, or combination of new and existing uh, networks to, some to a new uh, operating uh, structure. In this sense, uh, I would say uh, IMT, now upcoming IMT 2020 or 5G networks, they are really a characteristic or incarnation of such future networks. And in this sense, I can already say today, there are already a bunch of documents we have developed in the future network context that can be applied immediately to five upcoming 5G networks. So uh, talking about 5G networks, we always have in mind service awareness, creating a bunch of new services without in a very short time without in significantly increasing deployment and maintaining cost data awareness, handling huge data volumes with, uh, in an easy and smooth way. Economic awareness becomes more and more important <laughs> in our days. And last but not least, also in order to uh, ease up uh, access to new structures to users and stakeholders, although social economic uh, awareness uh, for such kind of networks. If you ask me about what is the user can expect, uh, I guess you should ask this question better to my 15-year-old son. Mm -hmm. so he can give you better ideas <laughs> about uh, uh, what's the upcoming features in gaming and digital uh, entertainment. <laughs> but I would say from my point of view, in the end, the trend to be always everywhere with everything connected will continue it and we do now also continue, it will increase. And um, uh, in, in, in this context, though I expect many new applications related to, uh, to, to smart city, uh, to, to smart uh, uh, environment, uh, I could say to all what's related with digitalization of our society and economics. I would be happy if I would could have, have already the whole picture in my head. Unfortunately, I don't. So what I can say uh, uh, today, that study group 13 is uh, focusing currently on big data in the context of cloud computing. So uh, uh, big data as a service is one of the current uh, emerging work, work items in our group. But again, uh, if I look a little bit ahead on uh, IMT 2020 5G networks, these networks uh, will, be will handle with hundreds of thousands of uh, accesses of different types and will create an immense amount of data that have to be processed and interpreted in an appropriate way in order that they can handle, so that means data aggregation, data uh, 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 interpretation and processing. So uh, from this point of view for the future, I expect here in our 5G work, I expect a significant uh, focus uh, on work on this uh, topic. I think uh, st uh, not jumping immediately in the future, just looking shortly a little bit back. Mm -hmm. um, I think we had done a very great cooperation with ISO, IEC, 
uh, community uh, with two uh, collaborative teams uh, defining the definition, the basic definition and terms, as well as the architecture uh, for cloud uh, computing. And if I uh, consider now how these documents are applied in several uh, documents by other uh, 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 organizations and also by ITU, I think uh, we come here to a, uh, uh, to a very prosperity future that our uh, documents are really applied and are also considered to be applicable. <laughs> and uh, although uh, if I look at the new challenges like uh, in the cloud interworking, that means interworking between cloud system of different types, or if we come uh, to distributed cloud computing. Uh, I expect here uh, that conformance to our standards really will progress that uh, work on these challenging uh, uh, topics. I think my concern I have here for the future, it's more coming from my other direction. As you know, uh, last week uh, there was media uh, uh, published that there was an attack to the German parliament uh, by hackers and all the, the Polish airline lot network were attacked uh, uh, from outside. And I think uh, it's very important that uh, cloud users, users means can be persons like myself, private persons, but it's indeed it's, it's companies also. They, uh, they ha it is important that they remain their trust in using uh, a cloud-based service. If this trust got lost, I guess then uh, the continuation of cloud would be significantly uh, in endangered. So it is important that we focus uh, also to secure these developments that we focus on trusted networks. And uh, here uh, Study Group 13 has started in this recent meeting in uh, some months ago uh, an initiative and currently we have established a correspondence group between different SDOs to focus uh, on uh, terms of trust and to develop first basic studies on trusted networks. I think in the end they are all uh, correlated uh, or linked to each other. I think uh, we indeed we continue with uh, challenges in cloud computing uh, accompanied by studies to create uh, or to secure trust uh, from the, from the users uh, to such services. Um, and then uh, it will be uh, big data, but big data will be mainly majorly done in the context of cloud on the one hand, on the one hand and on the other side, uh, in the context of uh, 5G, uh, net IMT 5G networks. And here, like I stated before, I think uh, we are not starting here from the scratch. Like I stated, already today, our future network studies have resulted in several uh, documents which can be applied n already now uh, for requirements, uh, architecture frameworks, for 5G uh, networks. And it's important also, so one reason why I give this interview, to promote this, because we really have to avoid that, uh, uh, that other SDOs just duplicate our work. And indeed, uh, we also have to avoid that we are not duplicating work of others. And uh, for this purpose, um, we have created uh, now a focus group on IMT 2020, exactly with a goal to sort out this the, 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 the complete terrain with other STOs like 3GPP, IATF, and so IEEE, and so on and so on, in order really to identify which areas each organization can working separately without uh, uh, big uh, coordination. But more important, 
also to sort out these areas where we have an overlap and where we have really carefully to, uh, to cooperate. And I really hope from my side, I'm really open for cooperation with these SDOs like 3GPP. And indeed, I also expect from them that they do uh, the same. But I think with this common effort, I'm really sure that for ITU as well as for the others, we will do uh, in a common task a great uh, progress uh, on this uh, topic of 5G IMT 2020 networks.